And we got two offers in two days. And so uh, we accepted one and we're under contract. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Under contract yesterday on 2770 Highway 24, Newport, North Carolina. I know how you all are. Don't try and steal my deal. I'm already under contract. All right. So um, there's a couple of lessons from going under contract on this deal. The first lesson is, and this is a rider downer, you have no idea what a seller will take until you make the offer. Period. Some of you have heard me say that 102 times. A seller has no idea. And you have no idea. The seller has no idea really what they will accept until you make the offer. And it also depends on how clean your offer is, meaning no contingencies. And how fast can you close? So let me give you the details. I went and looked at this house and this property last Thursday, a week ago tomorrow. This house has got 800 and some square feet, two bed, one bath. Seldom do I ever buy two bed, one bath, but there's no inventory in Carteret County. I went and looked at it. After repaired value is somewhere around $175,000, believe it or not. It's way off the highway. The access to this property is a gravel slash dirt road with no easement granted to the subject property owners. The easement is actually going across the neighbor's property behind their backyard, which means their fence would have to be taken down to get over to Cagle Road instead of Highway 24. So I went and looked at it. Figured up the repair cost, they're $48,000, call it 50. The seller is the daughter and the granddaughter or heirs of the owner of the property. So it's an inherited property. And so neither one am I gonna live in it. Um, so there's one motivation, inherited. They told Kim, my acquisitionist, they would not take a penny less than $75,000. So we ran the numbers. And so I'm going to offer, and I did offer $50,000. Kim reminded me they won't take less than 75. I said, that's what they said. I need you to offer 50,000 and write this down, justify the offer. So how do we justify the offer? Three points. Number one, the access that you're using has no legal easement granted. Frank, the owner of the property where the road is going into the, to the house, we don't know if he'll grant an easement. We don't know if he'll even sell an easement to get access to the subject property. If we put in a, if we use the legal easement of the property, I got to pay to put a road in. So number one, there's a big unknown. Number two, the septic tank that you had put in for your mother five years ago, the drain lines are surveyed to go towards the property. You tell me they're going towards the neighbor's house. If that's the case, they're underneath the easement of where I might have to put the road, which means I might have to put in a new septic tank and drain lines. And if anybody else buys it, they can't get a mortgage because of these two reasons. And number three, there's a question mark on your foundation. So with that, we'll pay 50,000. Kim put the offer in yesterday, talked to the mother and the mother. Oh, by the way, we said we close in two weeks, all cash. Two weeks, all cash. And, and I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk on the easement. I'll take the risk on the separate tank and the drain lines. And I'll take the risk on the foundation. And you can walk away. By the way, I did ask Miss Laura, 
while I was with her last Thursday, I said, Miss Laura, I said, is this a matter of the fact of if we can just get the cash as soon as possible, is that what you want? She says, yeah, I want the cash as soon as possible. So Kim made the offer yesterday, 50,000, justified the offer. And the mother said, my daughter's already received an offer of 50,000 and turned it down. Kim says, have you told your daughter that we can close all cash, don't need a mortgage, close in two weeks with the private money? And does your daughter know about the easement issue and the septic tank issue and the foundation issue? Mother had a conversation with the daughter and in one hour, 20 minutes, came back and accepted $50,000 offer. We are now under contract to buy that house for $50,000. So lessons learned, you want the house, make the offer, justify the offer. And just because a seller said no yesterday doesn't mean a seller won't say yes today. All right, so there's my win. Who wants to share a win? I'll share a win, Jake. Share a win there, Banjo. We got done with a rehab. Um, in a town that's not known for being a sought after town and, but it's a low priced, uh, house comparatively speaking to the surroundings. So it's 130,000. We listed it at, and we got two offers in two days. And so, uh, we accepted one and we're under contract, uh, after we yes. give Eric and Eric, the very sophisticated golf clap right here. That's awesome. So how much are you under contract for? We got a contract for 129, but they're asking uh, 7,300 in, in concessions. And how much you got in it? Uh, less than 60. Woo! Congratulations, Erica. Congratulations there, Banjo. Fantastic. Who else well, as you know, I help real estate investors raise a lot of private money for their real estate deals. You may not know that I have an exclusive private money academy membership. That's right, a monthly membership where we actually spend time together twice a month on Zoom. That's the second and fourth Wednesdays of each month. And I invite you to come check it out. We have hundreds and hundreds of members that always share their deals with each other, how they're finding deals, and of course, how we get all of our deals funded. I want to give you a four week trial to just come check it out absolutely free. And you can do that in the description below. Go check out the URL, the website below right here in the description. And I'll see you at the Private Money Academy membership. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's j-c-o-n-n-e-r.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnor.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.